Hello and good morning. It's good morning from my side and welcome to a new video. I'm down here in uh, Nyborg, one of my local cities where I want to go for an autumn walk. I have the sun directly in my face. Ah, it's so beautiful. Look at the autumn colors. We have some water down here. So today I will go for a new uh, photo walk with you. Let's enjoy uh, some pictures and see what's possible. Sorry for me not looking directly to the camera, but ah, I'm scouting around already. It's so beautiful. Now I will find this water down here. And let's go down there and see if we can get some nice photos of this place here. Ah, look around. So beautiful. What a day. Wow, look at this place. Nice reflections, but maybe I will go for a polarizer instead. Let's see. But I want to have a picture here. This is on my GoPro. It's much too wide. I just want to show you what I found here. Down the path, over the bridge. And now I have this really beautiful thing here. All the ducks, everybody is here this morning. But let's unpack my uh, backpack and let's uh, set up the gear. Now we are getting set up. I can see I I want the polarizer to be added. So with this magnetic filters, it's so easy. It's very nice just to have your filters around, small bag, and then we can put it on. Let's see if we can polarize this picture. Oh yes, now it gets much, much better. I'm taking the photo here with the F8. I will see if I can level it up a little bit more here. Yes. And focus in the back. And then let's see what's possible. Yes. Here you can see my screen of the camera. What I really want is these weeds in the front to be the front of the picture, have the clear water, the sun on uh, all the trees, and then just make this photo happen. Oh yes, have a look. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Maybe I will take a few pictures of the docks and then, uh, yeah, let's see. I think I get an okay picture down there. You have already seen it if it <laughs> turns out any good, but I'm quite sure it will. At these uh, days where we have the autumn, still autumn here in Denmark, and uh, we have all these nice yellow, brown, reddish leaves. Sometimes we have some red, orange fruits. We have the sun. It's not really middle of the day yet. So it's still in the morning, so we have the very soft light. Ah, it's just, it's perfect. It's really, really perfect. I couldn't ask for more. But now I will continue on this path, and then uh, I will find a new picture very, very soon. But let's go for a walk together and see what we can find. Yeah, I only walked for a few hundred meters more. And now I find this 
not really a waterfall, but just some water falling down. And now I will try to see if I can find a picture here. I set everything up again, like before. Still keep my F8, ISO 100, and uh, polarizing the picture to get some really nice details uh, in the water and the greens. And let's take a second one. Ah, this is just so nice when you can go on a path like this in your local area and get so nice pictures. Let's uh, see if this turns out any good. It's just so enjoyable to take a walk in a nice area like this. And I'm actually in the middle of uh, the city because the city Nyborg, where I live very close to, is a very old, actually it was capital of Denmark. Back in the 1600 something, uh, we had a king, uh, Christian IV, if I remember correct. He was uh, living in uh, Nyborg Castle. And that's why we have all this nature around. Because in the old days, they built these big walls around the cities. Uh, so they could protect from uh, people that don't want it to come in. So this town here is very old and that's why we have all this water around because we have all these hills going up. These hills was to protect for people not to come in and uh, actually to give more protection they put in all this water. So the water and the hills was to protect the city in the old days. The very best thing about this is an old city and all this uh, small history I just talked a little bit around about is that it means that all this is protected. Meaning nobody can build houses, nobody can build a big factory. This is just protected and will stay here for many, many years still to come. And it's so nice when we visit an old city and we see these areas here. It's just amazing. And it's so nice just to take a walk in the morning, in the afternoon or whatever time you want. And we just have these very nice areas. Of course, if you walk to your local park, it can also do something. You have some grass, you have some trees, you can play football with your kids. But to have an area like this, with an old castle. I will show you the castle in a minute. It's just, ah, it's brilliant. And, 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 and very photogenic also. There is a lot of places around here where you really can make good photos. Now I'm getting closer and closer to my next picture. So wait and see. So I just came to the next, pic next picture. Look at this. We have a bridge. We have a little glow in the sky. And we have the nice autumn colors. And I have actually already framed up the picture. As you can see here. Just want this cyclist to pass before we take the picture. Then we don't have to clone him out. But a little bit again, like before, F8, ISO 100. And actually I want to uh, out to bracket, uh, uh, not out to bracket, but I want to make more exposures of this picture because I want the details in the sky. So I will make a minus one and minus two in exposure. Then I'm sure I have all the details up in the sky because we have the blue sky, we have the blue sky, we have the skies here. I want just a little bit detail instead of the blue colors, but yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> this picture was actually okay with the bridge. Uh, it could be a little bit better. I can see for the leaves around this area. Ah, 
ah, they were falling a little bit down of the trees. But nevertheless, it's just, I just want to go for this morning and take some video together with you and make all this, yeah, nice tour. Autumn colors. I can continue to say autumn colors because it is so beautiful. Everything is so perfect. We also have some water down here with riffles on. Uh, I will go down and see if I can make anything work. Yes, I came down the path all the way down and walked to here. Now what I want to see is I have put up a composition here where I'm really trying to, yeah, get these weeds down here to make some foreground, autumn colors, doing the picture, little bit of the water, not too much water. That's why I'm a little bit low like here because the water is just full of riffles. Ah, if it was uh, totally flat and, and could make a mirror, maybe I would have done something about the water. But I prefer to go down here and then get the foreground and up here in the back. Let's take the picture and see how it turns out. I'm still walking on these paths here with my camera on the one hand and my tripod in the other hand and looking for new pictures. Now we are going to see if we can find something different. Uh, now everything has been with water and it has been, first it was uh, water down on the bridge with these nice reflections. Uh, second was the bridge. Third here was also water. Ah, so let's see if we can find something totally different. Now I'm trying to get up to this. Wow, the sun is wild here. Up here is the old water tower. So in the old days, <laughs> where water need to be stored high, so we could get some pressure into the city, it was here. So this one here is actually the old water tower. And sorry for the sun. It's so crazy here in the winter because it's so low. Ah, now we are in the shade. Now we can really see it. This is the water tower. You can also see all the cannons around here. It's from these old days where I told you before, this city have been the capital of Denmark. So they had some cannons to protect themselves from the enemy. But this is a very old history. <laughs> but let's keep going here because now we get some more beautiful cannons. This one is uh, fully renovated, meaning a few times a year, they actually shoot them. So they can actually be shot only, of course, with their black powder. Uh, no cannonballs, nobody is getting shot, but it is actually possible to do it a few times a year. And if we go up here, you can see it's just out on this water again. These really nice cannons, yeah, a few times a year, they have some events and they shoot these cannons. And it's actually quite fun to see. Uh, next time they shoot them, I think I will actually try to get here and see if I can get some shots of the cannons blasting out <laughs> the black powder oh, because it looks so wild when you see it on pictures. I've never photographed that before, but yeah, it's so wild. Now I'm trying to frame up a picture again. Actually, I want to frame up the picture you saw before with the cannons and the water tower. I've just uh, tried to, yeah, it's not perfect, but 
<coughs> it gives an idea. Now, when I showed you the history uh, around uh, <coughs> Newcastle, here, sorry for me coughing a little bit, but I have been so ill the last week. But here I have again F8 ISO 100, and again try to frame up this cannon with this uh, water tower. So let's see if we can make these two things work together and you will have the picture here. If you have some positive feedback, not only that it's good pictures, but some, some feedback in where I can learn in a positive way, please put them uh, below here. And also don't forget to uh, like the video if you have seen until now, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But now I will see if I can find anything more. If not, I will just find my car. <laughs>